Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Let's continue building um, building some shared assigned ships. So the last one we made was um, was this one, Linz. Built on the Advanced Armored Cruiser hull. Next one on the list is Austro-Hungarian Large Armor Cruiser. Is another speculative hull of a wide and robust construction that provides that produces very durable warships, but not very fast. It can be found in the battlecruiser hulls from 1929 and has a displacement between 22,000 and 29,000 tons. Alright, 1929. Large armored cruiser. Looks a lot like the Advanced Armored Cruiser. It's just slower and bigger. Let's max it out, 29,000. Max optimal speed is 25.5, I think. We should be able to push that up to 27. Which is still not that fast for a battle cruiser. Let's see, crew training 50. What do we have for towers? That's the best one. That's a slightly different type. 77,000 tower spotting. 79,000. And it has a barbette. It looks very tiny though on this hull. I think... I wanna slim it up a little bit again by 3% because it's just so fat 105 resistance though so that's very uh, it is very tanky as advertised let's see 24 base accuracy 30 long range Yeah, these are better. Let's go with the not best one, but second best one. That looks more right for this kind of ship. And we got crane towers, range finding towers, mini mini range finding towers. Let's go for the second best crane tower as well. As for funnels. We got the long funnel, 41 funnel capacity. Protected crane funnel, protected combat funnel. This is a bit shorter. I think... Are we gonna go with this? Or are we gonna go double funnel again? Protected funnel too. The difference in funnel capacity is not that great. Again, I do want two funnels on this. Because of redundancy. And looks. Let's be honest. Let's go with oil one. Should we go turbo electric on this? I think we're gonna go turbo electric. Decent engine uh, efficiency. We can drop down the range. 31,000 is still plenty. Can we do 28 knots? Can do 28 knots. How about 29? Uh, the weight is starting to get added on. You can actually make this quite fast. can make this very fast. But the advertised was uh, 25 knots. 11,000. It's not that much of a uh, weight difference. 11 <laughs> from 25 to 35 knots. 30, uh, you do kind of ruin your engine efficiency and range goes down. Although that's still not terrible. But I think 
we're just gonna keep with the uh, with the spirit of the ship and not make it very fast. That's what the blog post said. What kind of guns can you fit on this? In 1929? No bigger than 13 inches. They can go 11 inches, mark 4. Mark 313. I think we're gonna go 13. Just because it is a uh, a battle cruiser, it needs uh, some actual capital ship firepower. There we go. Basic layout. Now let's build the rest of the ship. And again, if you didn't know, Auxiliary 3 and 4, and also 5, give you better fuel efficiency, which means more range. While 1 and 2 give you less range. So base is uh, 29,500, almost. Aux 2, it's 28,800. But we bump it up to Orc 3 and it's 30,500. Not that it really matters much, that's still very good range, but uh, just something to keep in mind. I would personally rather go Auxiliary 3 and Shaft 2 than Shaft 3 and Auxiliary 2. Let's see. Crop 4. Ought to do it. Remember, we're building for the AI here. They might not have uh, the best tech available. Let's start out with. The, oh no, no, that's right. That's right. In Dreadnought Improvement Project, as we found out last time, uh, Citadel 5 is actually just better than 4. It gives you more assistance. In vanilla, it's uh, it's kind of a choice, as it is in uh, naval arms race, where Citadel Four will typically make your ship heavier, although it kind of depends. It modifies the uh, the belt armor weight, while the Citadel Five modifies the deck armor weight. It kind of depends on your armor layout, but Citadel Four will give you more. Resistance. Citadel 5 will give you less ammo detonation chance and uh, engine damage and stuff like that. So that's something I wish would have may remained in this mod. Because I thought it was quite neat. That it wasn't just a simple, uh, simple matter of 5 being better than 4. But you had a choice. RDF, it's a 1929 ship, so we can go radar one. Now let's look at the armor. We got 2,000 tons to play with. We need some armor. The blog post said that this was a very tough ship. kind of uh, deck penetrations are we looking at? Not much. So we're actually not going to need that much uh, deck armor to protect this from its own guns. We are going to need some belt armor though. Because this might have to protect itself from bigger guns than uh, 13s. Being a quote-unquote tanky ship, I actually want some fore and aft belts as well. We can go three on the main deck. 
1.5 on the fore and aft. 2.5 on the superstructure. Let's go down to 15 on the turret sides. Actually, no, let's keep it at 16. So, Citadel armor. I got like 800 tons to play with. I like going 4 to 1 on the belt. And deck armor, as we found out, doesn't need to be that thick. In the Dreadnought Improvement Project. Let's actually go down a notch in, uh, in speed. Didn't make much of a weight difference, but... Uh, we can drop the range down, that's still very good range. Alright, do we want to have any secondaries? Uh, yeah, probably. Well, let's do actually go down on the turret armor. Free up some more weight. Because in the Dreadnought Improvement Project, you cannot mount uh, hydrophones and sonar on anything bigger than a light cruiser. So this might want to have some torpedo protection. It's going to add to the uh, resistance also, so it kind of goes with how the ship is supposed to be. Let's see, secondary guns. Casemate guns, oh, nope, not available. Got a thousand tons, oh, 900 tons. Almost 900 tons. Can I fit eight inch guns? No, they're just too, uh, too fat. How about some six inch guns? Yeah, they do fit here. Let's turn that one too, just to make it look better. That's not too bad. That's a decent secondary armament, I would say. Uh, four inch guns, they are full size turrets. How about the three inch guns? They are also full size turrets. Does that mess with the arcs of that? Uh, it kind of doesn't make sense. We can put these here and up here and just not worry about these uh, slots there. Is it possible to mount torpedoes? On the back here? No. No. Not possible. Let's see, six inch guns. Well, that's all the armor they can have. Caliber length, 44. That is almost 45. And there we are, overweight. But I made them 45s. Which is a nicer number. We can 
say wait like that. Four weight offset, 0.1%. I don't care. Yeah, I can save some weight by moving uh, this further back, shrinking the citadel, but that's gonna mess up the arcs of fire. And having a big citadel, not always a bad thing. Because it means more more of your ship is difficult to flood. The fore and aft belts are going to get penned quite easily and take flooding, but the citadel is more than big enough to keep the ship buoyant. There we go. Saved. Loud on. Quite a handsome ship. Let's see. What's your good angle? So you can be the uh, thumbnail. Yeah, probably like that. The lighting is better. All right, what's next on the list? Austro-Hungarian advanced small battleship is another speculative hull of a wide and robust construction. That seems to be the theme. That produces very durable battleships, but rather slow. It can be found in the battleship hulls from 1929, as the displacement between 32,000 and 39,000 tons. Alright, battleship. Advanced small battleship. That is the same hull again. <laughs> this time it's a battleship, so it might be able to mount some bigger guns. And yeah, you can see it's bigger. It's got more of these uh, secondary armament slots. It's maxi all the way out. Uh, I don't think I want to slim it up. What's your maximum speed? I think we can make 25 knots. And again, going with what the other one was turbo electric. So that's the biggest tower. The medium tower, and it's the mini tower. And compact advanced tower. Do we want to go with this? Possibly. You can put a secondary gun on the on the built-in barbette. I think that might look nice. Combat protected funnel. So, that's a nice, uh, kind of nice silhouette. Let's see what guns are available. All the way up to 15, also Mark three. They are kind of the Bismarck uh, style. No, not the Bismarck style, but the um, Scharnhorst style. I think we want to go 9 15 inch guns, but we need a bigger barbette so it doesn't look stupid. Big, big barbette. Kind of like that. Okay, that's the basic layout. If we end up with a lot of uh, displacement to spare, I don't think we're going to do. But then I could actually go with an ABXY. Could go with double turrets, but double turrets of this type just look kind of silly. 
because it's basically the same turret model just with one barrel chopped off. That doesn't look too silly. Just a little bit. Is there a... Uh, I didn't mean to remove both of you. Is there another barbette? Um, that can uh, fit. Enlarged barbette? Those are very tall. How about... Standard. Is that too narrow? That's a bit too narrow. We can go enlarged. Yep. That looks decent. Or is that actually taller than the big barbette? Let's see. It almost looks taller. It's really hard to say. Yeah, I might as well go with that one. Plus 90 flash fire protection. Let's build the rest of the ship and see how much weight we have to spare. Crop 4. Let's take a look at the um, flash fire chance. I think we're going to let it run out of displacement very soon. Yep. But I ain't stopping yet. Flash fire down to 1.3. That is good. Let's go semi auto. We are quite a bit overweight, but as you can see, there are weight savings to be made here. Deck penetration, 3.4 inches. Yeah, that's not that much. Let's go 16 on the main belt. Uh, I think 7 on the fore and aft belts. That is a good suggestion. 4 on the main deck. 2 on the fore and aft. See, the weight is creeping down. 2.5 superstructure. 4, 2, 1. 1. 0.4 and 0.2. We're almost there. We can go down to 15 on the main belt. Armor weight, deck, deck extended. So the deck armor weighs extra with this uh, citadel type. Are we going to make it a little bit slower? What was your suggested speed? 23.5. There we go. Alright, we have a four weight offset. We can fix that by just moving things in. But also I just want to move everything a couple notches back. Remember, we, ah, I'm going to have to find somewhere to fit secondary guns on this. I don't know how though. I guess it's possible to go with uh, geared turbines. No, that makes it heavier. 
38545. You don't really save that much weight from uh, going to gear turbines too. Over turbo electric, you just lose a lot of bonuses. This turbo electric has so much uh, good stuff going for it. These are 43 caliber, only 27.6 kilometer range. You know what I can do? I can, uh, I said I wasn't going to do it because it looked silly. Actually, no, we're going with the, uh, we're going with 14s instead of 15s. I changed my mind. All that fiddling was for nothing. We're going with 14s. Eight of them, A, B, X, Y layout. So everything has to move forwards again, so I can fit another barbette. And these 14-inch turrets are probably also very heavily armored. That's why my ship is now overweight. Yeah, as you can see, let's go to 16, 14, 5. Weight has been saved. You are as far aft as you can go. I can't even shift place it further forwards. There we go. So it has kind of the same angle as the X turret. How are your angles? Not too bad. Alright. 1444. 1445. Just because it's a nicer number. That's a good set of guns. Secondary armament. Are you going with the same 6 inch uh, turrets as the previous ship? I wanted to fit one here also. That's my whole reason for picking this uh, <laughs> superstructure. That's why I picked this, because I wanted to use that barbette. It made my uh, forward offset worse, but I guess I can't really complain too much. About 0.1%. 32 caliber, what's your range? 11.4 kilometer, that's kind of useless. Now you don't fit. Now you fit. It still says they are 32 caliber. Is this a case where I have to take them all off? 35 caliber, yeah. 12.8 kilometer range. I know I can fit more of these. If I just rotate them a bit. That'll have to do. Ship is now overweight. 
but I got my secondary uh, battery in place. So that's uh, something. Of course, you won't fit anywhere. But these little guys can fit. Ship is overweight. fix that. Some parts are badly placed. No, they are not. Stop complaining. My parts are perfectly placed. A mm, little bit of weight to take off, yeah. That gave me uh, room for more barbette armor on the 6-inch guns. Oh, conning tower is a little bit heavy. Not that heavy. If we drop down the range, yeah. 25,000 kilometers. Respectable range for such a small battleship. Can we fit anti-torp 4? Nope. Can we fit a triple bottom? Nope. Almost. Almost. And the triple bottom is also uh, also very good at making the ship more survivable. So, 117 tons. Let's get down the fore and aft belts a little bit. There we go. Drop the deck armor a little bit. Aren't really that many places to put reasonable secondary guns on this? I guess I can free place a couple of bofers. Mm, but that's just gonna be silly. Yeah, that's a decent little battleship. With a solid secondary uh, battery. Not much for um, anti-aircraft firepower if we were to pretend this game has aircraft. But it's a 1929 ship, so maybe they just didn't think about it. Right, next hull. Austro-Hungarian modernized Dreadnought 1 is a strong hull for battleships that focus more on resilience than speed. That's, uh, that is the running theme. Can be found in the battleship hulls from 1927 and has a displacement between 44,000 and 60,500 tons. Let's see, new ship, uh, 1927 you say. Oh, I've already forgot the name. Modernized Dreadnought 1. So Modernized Dreadnought 2 already exists. Modernized Dreadnought 1 is this thing. Modernized Dreadnought 2 can go all the way up to 90,500 tons. Oh my gosh, that is a huge dreadnought. We're not going to build this because it's an older hull. I just uh, thought it was kind of funny that you can make the dreadnought that big. How big are we going to make you, though? Take it off. 55,000. Max optimal speed, 22 knots. Uh, I want to push that to 24. So it's not completely painfully slow. We've got medium tower too. 
medium tower one and small tower two one okay let's go medium tower two best one that is some good spotting range wide flat tower can this actually fit guns on it I don't know we got funnel plus watchtower 30 27 I do add torpedo spotting which is nice when you consider uh, the uh, the hydro things being uh, taken away from battleships. Let's just go with the tiny air tower. That kind of works. Didn't win a beauty contest, but it kind of works. Let's not go with the best stuff, but let's do go with turbo electric drive not quite 100% engine efficiency we could go balanced boilers let's see 26,564 yeah the boilers do add a lot of weight and also a lot of uh, other things. That's why I typically keep mine natural and just add some more funnels. It depends more on what you can fit on your ship. Let's see, guns. 18 mark 2 17 mark 2 16 mark 3 but does the ai have 16 mark 3 available in 1927 probably not 15 mark 3 though we should have that can we just have this straight up to the tower no for some reason it won't fit If I use the big barbette instead. A bit of back and forth here. No. Why are you saying that doesn't fit? There's no interference here. Hmm. How about that? Yeah. Actually, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison just so we don't have to do this uh, every time from now on. Yeah, the that barbette is taller. a little bit but it is taller so now we've proven that I can happily spend another uh, oh wow that's a very that's a big that's a big uh, weight difference 305 tons Alright. I may change my mind again. Further down the uh, ship designing line. But for now, we're just gonna go with this. I'm so used to just going uh, Citadel 4 if I want to build something very tanky. It's going to be a difficult habit to break. Do 
18 to 2. Flash fire is down to 1.8. That is fine. Don't want to go the best reloading I have available. But I do want to go radar 1. Because that kind of makes or breaks the ship. Yeah, here we go. We can uh, we can pick up some um, weight savings here. What's your deck penetration? 3.4 inches. That's very uh, very low. So already uh, under our weight budget. A little bit more four and a half belt though. Won't hurt. Yeah, we're saving uh, lots of weight here. Let's actually go with a uh, quite thick first inner belt. Let's go 3.5 on the main deck. There we go. Weight has been saved. These are 43 caliber. 45 caliber now. 29 kilometer range. Engine efficiency is still not great. We can go oil 2 and fix that. Range is not amazing. Despite using uh, turbo electric drive. I do like giving the AI ships some, uh, some decent range. Because the AI likes to run its ships out of fuel. Oh, these add a lot of weight. What kind of armor do you have? Way too much. That's what you have. Yeah, let's uh, skip the 8-inch guns. Although, yeah, they do have decent range. Unlike the 6-inch uh, the guns. So they can actually make themselves useful. Let's drop down the, uh, the deck armor a little bit more. Just because you don't really... Uh, don't really get that much uh, deck penetration in naval arms race. Yeah, I I know what I said. We're gonna save weight by going with the uh, with the barbet that didn't look quite as good. What? It changed its weight. It had a different weight previously. Oh yeah, it's because the guns are mounted on it, of course. So weight comparisons don't really make sense before you have it mounted with the guns. We're gonna go doubles instead of triples. Saving weight to put into protection systems. Like, for example, Anti Torp 4. And possibly triple hull bottom, yeah. And possibly Barbette 4. Now we need some more. Secondary guns on this uh, boat, don't you think? I think that. I think we need some 6 inch guns. We've kind of made that the theme. That Austrian capital ships have uh, some 6 inch turrets. I know it doesn't matter, and I can freely place them right on top of the uh, the eight-inch casemates, but 
let's try to at least make it look semi-reasonable. There we go. All in a line. Any room for these tiny uh, two-inch guns? Yeah, we do. Just a couple. Just a couple. All right, take it off. We have 700 tons to spend. I'll give some to uh, the barbette on the six inch guns. Uh, six inch turrets. We don't need more armor than the uh, the barbette tops. the 8 inch guns. Uh, let's see, you're 44 caliber. No, that's the 6 inch guns I'm adjusting now. Here are the 8 inch guns. I was just confused. 45 caliber. Rounder number. 6 inch guns. How about we just uh, bump you up 36 caliber, that's not that impressive. Plus 17%. 37 caliber, that seems to be the max that I can do. 13.7 kilometer range, that's not really impressive. But that's a pretty impressive 8 inch uh, casemate battery it has. So, yeah. Take it off. SD. Yeah, it's a, it's a modernized dreadnought, but I like that they have this new tower available for it. Makes it look a little, uh, a little better. Now, next hull on the list. Italian Advanced Fast Cruiser. Producing cruisers very similar to the Monte Ciccoli class. It can be found in the light cruiser hulls from 1935 and has a displacement between 8,500 and 10,900 tons. So let's. Oh, Italy. Yes. Nineteen thirty-five. What was it? Advanced Fast Cruiser? Was that the one? Advanced Fast Cruiser. That's the one. It looks like a couple other light cruiser hulls already in the game. Let's see what kind of towers it has. That is disappointing tower spotting for a light cruiser in 1935. 4300 for the best one. Let's go with that one. It has 4200. That is terrible tower spotting for a light cruiser. This cannot do uh, scouting things. Auxiliary tower with barbette. Oh. Nice. Turbine funnel complex. It also has a uh, funnel. Ultra turbine funnel. Uh, I like that one the better because it doesn't take up so much uh, space. Or maybe, uh, maybe we can go one of each, a little bit of variety, 
enhanced turbine funnel. Are there any of these that suddenly have more capacity than others? That's a short little funnel. Okay, let's just move things around a bit. That looks good up there. And then this one can kind of sit right up next to that one. Barely even a gap. We can have that tower here. All right. I'm liking the look of this. It's called the Advanced Fast Cruiser. Max optimal speed, 35 knots. That means we can probably make this go 37. Let's give it a diesel. Not bad. Uh, also, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Taranto class. Drop the range down. It's already pretty good. Mm, starting to kind of like this now. Guns. Mark 5 6 inch guns. I think that's the ticket. Are we going to go double, uh, triples? Yeah, we are. Oh, they don't actually fit here. Let's see, barbette. I'm gonna put you here. Like so. Let's see, secondaries, these four inch turrets. They fit here and here, and there and there. They don't fit up here. These are so nice. They are so tiny, they fit in so many different places. How about torpedo tubes? Where can we fit you? Here. Yeah, there we go. So we can pretend they're being uh, reloaded from uh, this weird complex here. Alright, let's build the rest of the ship. I'm liking most things about it, except for the tower spotting. Which is quite abysmal for a uh, light cruiser. You don't need the best barbette protection on a light cruiser. Flash fire challenge is pretty good. We're getting very close to the uh, the weight limit, though. We have exceeded the weight limit, so something will have to be. Uh, fixed. I go per creek acid. Uh, flash fire challenge two percent. That's good enough need this to have a good rate of fire though and yes I am aware of the weight limit having been exceeded and I want the tor uh, torpedoes to be big enough to actually matter but then they don't fit what I could do is Put that turret on a barbette.
like so, and then put the torpedoes in between. Now they don't obscure the guns. They're so big, they don't really fit. Come here. Triple launchers. Guess if we're only gonna fit one launcher, it better be a quintuple launcher, right? Like so. Yeah, it looks better. Alright, and we haven't even done uh, all of this stuff. It's gonna need sonar, RDF, radar gen 2, it's 1935. We are 10% overweight and have not even started playing with the armor. If I go... Turb oh! Yeah, diesels are uh, diesels are heavy in the Dreadnought Improvement Project. Turbo Electric fixed it. Gear Turbines too fixed it more. Lose out on a lot of bonuses and some range, but we can kind of make that back. It is a light cruiser. I want it to have range. That's kind of its uh, reason for existing. Let's see. What's the max main belt you can put on 7 inches on a light cruiser? Monroe, that is uh that's quite quite a lot. One, one. Already overweight. Turret armor. Six, two, three point two. We are overweight again. So range will have to be sacrificed a little bit. Just a smidgen. Nine four nine five. It is lighter, electric two. Okay, we're going electric too. Mm. You know what? Let's uh, let's drop the torpedoes. Underwater launchers are not available. Is it possible to mount a couple of twin? No. As I said, let's drop the torpedoes. And like so. Just a little bit of um, citadel armor. Should be enough. Guns are 44 caliber, 45 caliber. The 4-inch guns are very short, but they do have decent range. Thirty-six caliber, 14 kilometer range now. That is decent. We can um, 
Oh, these count as primary guns. Yeah, I used 4-inch guns instead of 3-inch, so these count as primaries. That was not really my intention. And we can uh, we can add some two inch bofers to that. Like so. And we're going to turn those down to 1.6. Alright, alright. Any more places we can put the... Uh, those ones. Uh... guess it kind of works. I guess it kind of works. Four weight offset by 0.4%. Can just extend this a little uh, further back. Fit another turret. Yeah. I mean, I if it fits, it sits. That is a Toronto class light cruiser. Doesn't quite have the range I wanted it to have, but that's just uh, where we ended up. I think it looks quite handsome. I'm pleased with how the uh, the funnel layout ended up. Maybe this rare tower is a little bit uh, big, but yeah. Let's save that design. What's the... Uh... What's the next one. Large fast cruiser. Let's see, we've been, uh, this has been a uh, one hour long video, so we're gonna stop it here and we're gonna continue on with the rest of the new Italian ships on the next one. Goodbye and take care.